Nigerians. Once again, my name is Latif Oyefeso, your anchor for PBC Loud. Today, we have a very interesting topic to discuss with you about our country. And our topic today will be the participation of the youths in politics and how to vote wisely. There's no gain saying that the youth have awoken. The spirit for desire for good governance has awoken amongst every one of us. And we have showed keen interest. The recent voter registration by INEC has shown that over 80% of youths have come out to register for PVC. And because of this, we find it necessary to talk about how to vote wisely. How do we use our PVC cards in the right manner? Who do we vote for? Why should we vote for them? Do we vote for experience? Do we go for tribe? Do we go for religion? Do we go for age? Or do we go for health? These are the salient points and issues that we intend to discuss today on this show, on PVC Loud. We hope that you'll be interactive, that you'll call in. You can also check, up us, check us up on our Twitter space, where we'll be there live on Pop Central TV station. And we'll, we'll discuss more, and we'll also have speakers come up on board, and also have an interesting guest for you today as well. We'll be right back on a short break. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, um, I have fantastic guests with me here in the studio, who we'll be very proud of, one of our own, whom we have so much joy in. Um, he's a comedian, he's an artist, he's an entertainer, he's an actor. He's, he's doing well by all ramifications. Um, I have here with me Mr. Debo Adedayo. Probably known as Mr. Macaroni. Yeah, I didn't wear <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you very thank much. You. Thank you for yeah. having me. Thank you. You're welcome. You're welcome to PVC Loud. PVC Loud um, is a show that um, seeks to enlighten and um, educate the youth about politics, governance, nation building. Mm. You are very much aware that the election is less than a year away. Yes. And um, we have seen the drive among the youth. Yes. They are willing now to come out and do these things, right? Yeah. But do they know what to do? Do they know where to go? Do they know how to go? Uh, well, I, I would love to believe that we have done well. In fact, far too well in the area of sensitizing Nigeria youths as to what to do, as to where to go, mm. as to what, what should be done. Mm. You know, because um, I, I said this before and I said it again that I am also a part of the people that I used to say, oh, our votes won't count. Our votes don't count. And I beg, I know they vote. Not until NSAS. Hmm. NSAS was the catalyst for me, personally. I don't know about others. But after NSAS, I told myself, Baba, if now, true ballot, we go make our own voice heard. And we'll say, look, okay, we feel the protest anytime we want to, but it is high time we start bringing in the leaders. Those that we, want that we want to lead us. Absolutely. You know, so um, in the area of sensitization, I want to believe over the, in fact, personally, I know I dedicated my platform, you know, to creating content, um, um, posting out facts and figures as to, okay, this is where you can go and get your PVC. This is when um, it will, they will stop registering people for PVC. Mm -hmm. You know, we've done a lot. So, first we don't register for PVC, you know, get interest. And at this stage, we did. No, we're not supposed to force or beg anybody. So Absolutely. I, I have no doubt because the, the recent um, INEC register of voters shows that there was immense participation by the, by the youth to come Absolutely. and register for, the, for, their, for their PVCs. It's, it's fantastic. Did I also add a part of his CV that um, Mr. Maracaroni is also an activist? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you, all, you all know that. You all know that. But, 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 but Mr. Maracaroni, you see, yeah. we cannot over sensitize the people. Yes, I agree. I agree. Sometimes I don't bust into arguments and they're saying, hey, but I'll be naive, I can vote for Ibu. Mm. Some people are there saying, I, I, 
yeah. 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 is my kinsman. Mm -hmm. Yoruba, yeah. you know. Yeah. And, and that's why we are here to narrow down these issues. Yeah. How should we use our PVC? Who, how, how, what, what are the, the factors we consider yeah. when trying to vote? When, when, when trying to vote. Is, again, you know, there was a time a lot of people on social media and said, hey, Mr. Macaroni, who should we vote for? Well, I said, why are you asking Mr. Macaroni who to vote for? Do you ask Mr. Macaroni what to eat in the morning? Or do you ask Mr. Macaroni where to go to to hustle? Or do you ask, Mr. you know? So, and I, then I, I went ahead and I said, look, at the level, the state where we are in, at the, the state which the country is in right now, you don't need anybody to tell you who to vote for. Hmm. No, you don't. And um, if you ask me, I've always said, even across my social media platforms, I've always said that everyone has a right to vote for whoever they want to vote. Absolutely. Yeah, it's Absolutely. your right. Nobody can take that away from Absolutely. you. Absolutely. Yes. Absolutely. But you let, let your conscience guide you. You ask me, what are the pointers? Who is the, what type of candidate are we looking for? We're looking for a candidate who is upright. You understand? Well, um, in Nigeria today, it will be, you know, everyone will say, mm, who among them? There's all of them, this one, every, all of them, everybody corrupts, this, A, this, that. But when you look at the core values of leadership, there's a definition I, I, of leadership that I coined when I was president um, uh, of my students' association in school, back in school. I said leadership is first service. Hmm. Leadership is selflessness and sacrifice through discipline, integrity, and accountability to the people you have sworn to serve. Anything contrary is fraud. You heard it here for some PBC loud guys. <laughs> from <laughs> King Macaroni. Yeah, that's my definition of leadership. So look at those that have presented themselves and have said they want to serve you. To come and serve is not by force. Mm. You are begging the people. You are telling them that they should assess you. And, that you, and then you are putting yourself on, 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 on a platter. And saying, look, this is me. Dissect me. It's not, you don't come and be like this. That, no. No. It's a thing of, of it's service. I've never seen when someone is like this. You, you, you want to serve someone and you are yeah, doing like this. No. You will appeal to the Nigerian people. And you ask that they find you worthy. Of service. Mm -hmm. They define you worthy enough and say, well, look, this person can be our leader. So the person must be happy. Absolutely. The candidate must be. I mean, this is. Okay, I want Nigerians to put this presidential candidate or governorship candidate or uh, all the people that want to buy for one office or the other. Put them on a the scale. Put them on a the scale and consider that this person is the one handling your organization. Mm. Mm. This person is the one running your day-to-day -day business. Mm. Will you hand over your, your business to someone who you know cannot do it? So there are certain things you consider when you want to give someone a job. Consider that thing now. Absolutely. Is the person truthful? Does the person have a good record? Is the person <laughs> fit enough mm. to run around, do things? This is, is, is a simple, it's common, it's simple. Ladies man. and gentlemen, I hope you are...